All right, guys, today we're going to talk about uh, social media engagement. And something disturbing actually came up today where I've been noticing that brands are focusing on social media engagement. And there's a lot of bad advice going on out there about social media engagement. And it's, it's what I call a red herring. All right, so just let me tell you what's going on. Uh, first, the definition of a red herring. A red herring is something, especially a clue, that is intended to be misleading or distracting. It's a red herring in business is something you focus on that is actually distracting you from your core business and taking you away from success. And competitors love it because uh, it's actually a strategy out there to throw out bad business advice so all your competitors will follow that bad business advice while you're you know they're too busy following bad business advice then uh and <laughs> instead of competing with you right it's great so today i got out of a meeting i got out of this meeting uh between a brand and a celebrity they wanted uh, his endorsement for some influencer marketing i'm not going to name the brand uh uh, and I'll leave the celebrity's name out of it, but you'll get hints uh, as we talk about this. Uh, so this celebrity was actually very nice. Uh, he even said he didn't need any money up front from the brand and wanted to see how he and the brand work together first. This is this is about as nice as a celebrity can be. I mean, I can't I can't believe how awesome this was going. I thought it was a match made in heaven, right? Uh, now here's the thing. So we're ironing out all these details. And I'm setting up even affiliate marketing links and all sorts of great things. We're planning out uh, the first post. I'm booking a photo shoot for the celebrity with the product. All sorts of great stuff are going on. And keep in mind, the brand is getting away without having to spend any money so far, right? It's, it's awesome. But after we're ironing out these details, setting everything up, I get a message from the brand's marketing department. And with, with this title, by the way, his title is... Uh, like director of performance marketing. By the way, if you have somebody whose dis distinct job is to focus on performance marketing at your company, you really need to uh, step in. That can so easily be absorbed into what your general marketing guy is doing, but people are trying too hard to be cool uh, and, and suffering from it. So anyways, let me, let me continue on with what happened. So I get this message that they're pulling the plug. They're not moving forward, or he actually used the words cannot move forward, because this celebrity did not have enough social engagement on the posts, meaning there weren't enough likes on the celebrity's posts. And some of you are like, but that's important. And no, that's a red herring. And there's even seminars, and I even saw one that was going around email today about how you know, should you look at followers versus engagement? And both of those are complete bullshit. I'm going to be up front and honest with you. Because uh, any of us who have been around long enough know that social engagement is at best a tactic and not a strategy. It's definitely not a measurement tool for public relations success or, uh, or a marketing campaign. Uh, there is no correlation, and nobody wants to accept this, but there is no correlation between how popular a post is in terms of gaining likes and comments uh, to brand awareness or the success of a marketing campaign whatsoever. And, th and this situation was extra comical because this celebrity was at the Oscars this year. All right, he could have delivered instant brand, I mean, instant brand value uh, in, in an overall strategy despite any lack of likes on social media posts, all right? Yet the brand didn't even want to send him good faith sample of the product. I'm not gonna name the brand, but it was a beverage product and the brand did not even want to send uh, a free bottle of this beverage because uh, there weren't enough likes on his pictures. Like they, they pulled a 180 so fast from kissing his ass and loving this guy to like, we don't even want this guy to talk about our stuff for free because you know he he has less than you know 100 100 likes every time he makes a post even though he's got he's got good follower counts it's just the engagement is his fans uh just don't engage with the posts but i've done stuff with this celebrity and other campaigns where who cares if they're sending likes or not they're clicking links they're buying stuff they're 
they're they're talking about this celebrity and what he's doing and what products he's holding offline. Magazines are print, print magazines and TV shows talk about it. Like, but people are looking at Instagram and Facebook and Twitter only. Not that those aren't important, but it's, it's, it's ridiculous to make decisions based on social media engagement. Social media engagement is so unimportant and should be the bottom of your list of what's going on. But keep in mind that even though this is an established brand I'm talking about, uh, their quote unquote director of performance marketing seems to be in his early 20s. He's young. He's young. Uh, and that lead, that'll that be another topic because uh, people need to realize that just because someone is younger than you doesn't mean that they are more relevant. And that is a sad thing that happens to people. Uh, and so in, in this chase... Uh, they'll they'll actually sabotage their businesses in this chase to for this cool factor and this need to appeal and to be cool amongst twenty somethings and teenagers. Which it, it's it's just a trap that many people get caught into. So I, I say use your brain and business logic before embarking on a Ponce de Leon Fountain of Youth style hiring spree. All right. Now, if there's anything wrong with youngering uh, hiring young people. Uh, I mean, I definitely employ some really fantastic young 20-somethings, but I also don't allow them to make narrow decisions based on fads. I, I take their inexperience into account, uh, and you should do that with your young hirees as well. Don't, uh, don't follow them around just because they're young and do everything they say. It's, it's ridiculous. All right, so anyways, back to the topic of social media engagement. So I've got over a decade of experience working on influencer marketing and celebrity endorsements and still successful today. I, I am not irrelevant just because, you know, I am uh, not a 16-year-old. The, the numbers prove it. Anyways, so I've seen campaigns recently where there were only a few likes on a post. And the click rate on the links and the purchases made for the links were awesome. I mean... You make the post, uh, the influencer makes the post about the brand, and uh, there's almost no likes, no likes. It looks like there's zero engagement. But his fans are clicking on the links and making purchases. How awesome is that? Isn't that your ultimate goal? And I've even worked on a campaign where even though there were almost zero social media engagement, when you're looking at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, everywhere you went that night... And for at least a week after, people were talking about it in person. Hold on, let me turn this off. Some asshole is, won't stop sending me messages while I'm actually talking to you guys. All right, anyways. So, even though there was zero social media engagement, I, I, I remember going out to a like a social gathering, a party that night. And, uh, and also hearing, overhearing people even walking down the street and the rest of they were talking about the campaign. They saw it. They didn't click like. Instead, they were verbally talking about it with each other, which is the goal because the real world still happens offline. Those campaigns I'm talking about were huge successes for the brands. I mean, big successes. And social media engagement numbers had no correlation whatsoever. Now, on the flip side, I've seen campaigns where there were an enormous amount of likes and comments. Like, stellar engagement. But not one single useful click. Nor any impact on brand awareness. People didn't give a damn about the brand and they forgot about it seconds later. Uh, let alone any revenue from the brand, from, from the marketing campaign. All, all they got out of it were some likes. Seriously, I'm not kidding. All they got out of it were some likes on a video or, or a picture. Likes are worthless in and of themselves. So I know this is really hard for the social media engagement lovers to admit, but it happens. And it happens more often than you think. A campaign that focuses on social media engagement and makes decisions on which influencer to hire based on their engagement more often than not ends up just getting a bunch of likes for the, for the influencer, not even the brand. Uh, 
and and nothing. They get nothing out of it. Total waste of money and effort. Not to mention free product that you got to send out to the influencer. So social media engagement is a red herring. And Wikipedia, let me read their definition. A red herring is something that misleads or distracts from a relevant or important issue. It may be either a logical fallacy or a literary device, which is where it came from, that leads readers or audiences towards a false conclusion. So social, the sentence social media engagement is important to look at is a false conclusion. All right, so anyone who makes business, business decisions based on social media engagement is not only wasting their time, but while you are distracted by this herring, your real opportunities are slipping past you undetected, like, like turning down a major celebrity uh, who would probably mention, mention your product in passing on Jimmy Fallon or in a magazine or be, actually be seen with it when other celebrities will pick it up. And I mean... I mean, I shouldn't have to explain to you why a famous person that may not have huge social engagement, can, but but huge offline uh, household factor should, you know, you shouldn't be passing that up. Okay. And this rant, it may sound like a rant, but this is really a a public service message. Right now, I really felt the need to get this out there, even though I know most people ignore it. It may not even show up in your searches. I mean, if you're one of the lucky few to actually see this, I hope you are one of the few that will actually, that have actually listened to this and heed this advice. In fact, I'm, I would go as far as to say in this moment in time, ignoring, flat out ignoring social media engagement and not caring about it at all might give you competitive advantage. Because while everyone else is busy digging around for fool's gold, of, of likes and hearts and comments, a few will know better and dig elsewhere, spend your time elsewhere. All right, so I, I really hope, I really hope this helped you. All right, go ahead and subscribe and follow if it did. And um, if not, my job is done, even though if it helped just, just one of you to actually stop wasting your time with social media engagement and make real business decisions not based on false fool's gold nonsense. All right. I will talk to you guys later, hopefully.